हेलो वेलकम टू गीता मैथ्स क्लास टुडे लेट अस लर्न द न्यू चैप्टर ट्रायंगल्स एंड टुडे व्हाट यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न इज नॉट एट ऑल न्यू इट्स लाइक एन इंट्रोडक्शन क्लास बट वेरी फ्यू माइट नॉट बी नोइंग द सिंपल थिंग्स आल्सो सो लेट अस हैव द knowledge of triangles what are triangles or what is a triangle what are the elements of a triangle what are the different types of triangles as per the sides and as per the angles and what is sum of three angles of a triangle and what is the exterior angle property of a triangle today we are going to learn about all these things Let me start with triangle. What is a triangle? A triangle is a closed figure having three sides. A B C is said to be a triangle, and this A B C is made up of three line segments A B, B C, and A C or C D. So in a triangle, there are three sides okay and also there are three vertices of a triangle children most of you confuse between the vertex and an angle a vertex is a point at which two line segments meet whereas This is see here A is a point. A B and A C meet at A. So this point is known as vertex. A. Similarly, A B and B C meet at B. B. Similarly, point C. These are the three vertices of a triangle A B C. But an angle is not a point. It is the angular distance. Formed by two line segments. What is that? This is an angle formed by line segment B A and B C, and this is the angular distance formed by these two line segments. So, in short, we can say angle A, angle B, angle C for these angles, or mostly or generally. we used to name the angle with three letters for b we can write we have to write angle abc but for now at at b only one angle is there you can write angle b but in some cases at a vertex at a point you will have two or more angles in that case you have to name the angle by using three letters so now here angle a angle b angle c are the three angles of this triangle abc the three sides and the three angles of a triangle are known as the six elements of the triangle six elements of a triangle okay now let me explain you what are the different types of triangles there are basing on angles there are three types of triangles basing on sides also there are three types of triangles okay so basing on sides there are three types of triangles i said One is scalene triangle. Other one is isosceles triangle. Second one is isosceles triangle, and the third one is equilateral triangle. Okay, on the basis of sides or basing on the sides of a triangle, there are three types of triangles. scalene triangle is a triangle in which the three sides are not equal 
if the three sides of a triangle are not equal the triangle is said to be a scalene triangle and an isosceles triangle is a triangle in which any two sides are equal if two sides of a triangle are equal the triangle is said to be an isosceles triangle and if three sides of a triangle are equal the triangle is said to be an equilateral triangle equi equal lateral with sides okay this is basing on sides or on the basis of the uh, 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 sides of the triangle we have these three types of triangles now basing on the angles also there are three types of triangles let me explain basing on angles also there are three types of triangles first one is acute angled triangle acute angled triangle second one is right angled triangle right angled triangle and the third one is obtuse angled triangle obtuse angled triangle there are three types of triangles according to angles also okay what is an acute angled triangle a triangle in which all the angles are acute acute angle means less than 90 degree if each angle of a triangle is less than 90 degree the triangle is said to be an acute angled triangle and a right angled triangle means if in a triangle one angle is 90 degree the triangle is said to be a right angled triangle and what is an obtuse angled triangle is if in a triangle any one angle is more than 90 degree more than 90 degree means obtuse angle then the triangle is said to be an obtuse angled triangle so by now i believe you are clear about the types of triangles now let me explain you what is the angle sum property of a triangle by now we know that there are three angles of a triangle and what is the sum of three angles of a triangle what is the sum of three angles of a triangle that is angle sum property of a triangle a triangle it may be any type of triangle acute angle right angle or obtuse angle or scalene isosceles or equilateral triangle whatever may be the triangle the sum of three angles of a triangle is always equal to 180 degree if i name this triangle as pqr angle p plus angle q plus angle r is always equal to 180 degree the sum of three angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree okay this is angle sum property so in this triangle angle p plus angle q plus angle r is equal to 180 degree okay next we are going to learn now what is the exterior angle property of a triangle exterior angle means when a side of a triangle is produced an exterior angle is formed exterior angle property of a triangle whenever we produce a side of a triangle any side of a triangle an exterior angle is formed the exterior angle of triangle is always equal to the sum of its two interior opposite angles if this is a b c if b c is produced up to d angle a c d is the exterior angle and we know that these three are the interior angles but this property is exterior angle of a triangle is equal to sum of its 
interior opposite angles so that is the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of its two interior opposite angles okay so in this figure angle acd is the exterior angle angle acd is equal to angle abc plus angle bac and angle acb is the interior adjacent angle where these two are the interior opposite angles so sum of three angles of a triangle is always equal to 180 degree and the exterior angle of a triangle is always equal to the sum of its two interior opposite angles and the next class you are going to learn some more new terms related to triangles thank you